I am back. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh shit. I am the Dave. Welcome back to Final Fantasy uh, 15. Not? Completed. It's really well, you. give me a minute. Well, anyway, ah, shit. <laughs> Can't even call her own brother. In all fairness, yours wasn't the obituary broadcast all over Lucius. What about me? She say anything about me? Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Did you see that sign? Chocobos! Chocobos! No, no time for that. Need to get to Lestalum. It's still ages away. Come on, just a quick visit. Well, let's go to the Chocobo post. There's some fun stuff sure. there. Let's check it out. Yes! Gonna be awesome. Alrighty. Galia, we are going to just go there ourselves. Time to go. Alright. Um. Hang on. So I'm out of breather. I want to we want to get some food first. You seem oddly transfixed by that gas pump. Guess you wanted to pump something else. Ooh -wee. Quest. Oh, it's the frog lady. We'll hear what she has to say, but I ain't doing the fucking quest. Well, if it isn't Sonya. Huh. Somebody you know? I spoke with her just the once, back at Hammerhead. Now that you mention it, you were chatting someone up. She's Did we miss that interaction? Life. Could teach us a thing or two. Go on and introduce yourself. I don't... Did I miss that whole interaction? Huh. Or was that just, you know, throwaway line to... I guess add some depth that's not really there? Uh, what is it now? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy at the moment. Oh, it's you boys. Wait, who are you again? And what do you need now? N nothing. Hmm. You are saying you distracted me for nothing? This won't do. Won't do at all. Precious seconds down the drain. How am I to make up for them? <gasps> of course. You boys can help me. Uh, okay. This game is... Well, I'll tell you. I was just thinking I could use a few extra hands. For catching frogs, to be precise. Froges? Wait, what? Frogs? Uh, and if you're thinking any old frog will do, wrong. You're not getting off that easily. Only the get off whenever I want. To ulster suits my needs. You'll need to get knee and elbow deep down at the slough. With that, I'll get back to my work. Remember, it's red frogs, and make sure they're fresh. This game is absolutely chock full of side missions that mean that basically boil it down to go here, catch this thing. Or kill this thing. Hmm. It's let's hope it'll be edifying or as well. This photographer yeah, mission that we'll a, get uh, in Lestalum me. is garbage. Like I'm not like I like this game. I really do like this game. Welcome to but it's place. got some bullshit side right? quests. Suppose I know the area pretty well. Alright, uh Havens Parking New outpost. Lestalm's a big motherfucker. Procurements. I don't even think I've picked up anything. Take a look at kind of nutty. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna want this. Okay. For reasons that will become a little look more obvious stomach. later. Now, if this were anything other than New Game Plus. Uh, we'd have basically no money, and something like that would be we'll a luxury we just couldn't afford. Unless we went and just did a bunch of, like, grinding and raiding and stuff like that. But fortunately, we don't really have to worry about that. Hey, yeah, butter! Look at me go! Alright. Manuel. Alrighty. I got my insomnia driver's license. Yeah. Now, you, like I said in the first vi game or video, 
You can't drive freely. Like, I'm telling the car where to go, but I can't necessarily direct it. Like, I'm not even holding the analog stick, and we're just going along. But I'm not too fussed about that. Oh, look at that. That's like a neat little structure that they put there. This is what I like about this game. Like, there's a lot of little things to see and find out in the middle of nowhere. But none of it's important. So, that lack of compulsion to see every little thing does mean that all of the picturesque fucking nothing out there... To me, I don't feel like I have to go touch it or see what it is, because there's not really anything to see or touch. So, it's a mixed bag. On the one hand, yeah, kind of a shame there's no, no more, like, impressive thing. But, on the other hand, it just lets the world be very pretty and very believable without feeling too gamey. Like, it is worth messing with it's like hand it feels more natural and not just handcrafted content i don't know i might be talking out of my ass now this is what i'm talking about they're the talking about a bunch better. of shit there are worse vices i suppose excuse me we'd like to ride the chocobos the chocobos huh I hate to break this to y'all but we can't permit our birds to leave the post do what now uh, well, did i still about He's an uncommonly ferocious behemoth that's taken to prowling these parts of late. His scent makes our birds nervous, and to prevent accidents and tragedies, we have no choice but to suspend rentals. But hold on now. Ain't you lads the hunters that have been making a mark? You mean the ones that haven't done shit? Did I? Oh, you could bring we'll hunt dead eye. There'd be a reward in it for you. But knowing the danger, I wouldn't blame you for saying no. Aren't you like a... So what'll it be today? Oh yeah, you're a duder. I forgot. Still keeping on, keeping on. Go ahead and get ourselves some info. Cool. There's a quest up there again. What the hell? Wait, I said again. We're further south. Oh, we're at the chocobo. Whatever. Grubby what do you is. have? What can I get HP, you? fire, ice, lightning attack prevents toad chocobo club sandwich you can ride the chickens and then you can fucking eat them sounds good to me that's my kind of animal and there's a lot of these uh cosmogonies in like pretty much every outpost so i'm not gonna find them all i'm sorry in the distant past, Bahamut, the Draconian, ascend descended from to the mortal realm and graced the people of Tanabrai. From among them, he handpicked a pious maiden and bestowed upon her the power of the stars and his trident. Using these gifts for the good and good of all, she became the first oracle, she who joins heaven and earth. Oh shit, it's like the shrine maidens from Fatal Frame. Connected by heaven and earth. Have a look, Noct. What is it? I don't remember seeing any of these on my first playthrough. That must have been added. Uh, Gyashi, Gisha, Gasal, Gisha. Fuck you and your words. Don't the chocobos eat this stuff? It's also suitable for human consumption. I'll leave it consuming to other humans. Well, chickens are also omnivores. They'll eat each other. You eat those shits. What is Chocobo Post? Duskayan Dude Ranch focused on the protection and propagation of everyone's favorite feathered friends. Tourists are invited to feed and interact with the birds at their leisure. The Post also sponsors Chocobo races and a bird rental service for a small fee. Wild Chocobos once tr trotted freely through the forest of Disky, but the recent influx of ferocious beasts has sent the birds running in fear. Despite the hunters strengthening their patrol on the area, the numbers are not enough to attend all to the lost and injured birds, so the population should continue to decrease. Troubled by the Chocobo's travels, Wiz Farlan for Forlane for <laughs> sought to set up a safe haven for birds in need. Thanks to, his, thanks to his efforts, the feathered friends of the forest once again had a place to rest their tired wings in peace. Without his hard work, the National Lucian sport of Chocobo racing might have been lost to the annals of time. So it's a Lucian... whatever. 
New regional information has been added to your ass. All right. You see this, Noct? What about it? What do you want? Weight gain formula. Whoa. This will really fatten you up. Duh, it's fat chocobo feed. <laughs> As opposed to skinny chocobos? Join the hunt for dead eye. Ah, fuck. We gotta talk to what's his tits. We were just talking to what's his tits. Do we have to accept it so like this it when we were already talking about how we would go accept it? You go. Asshole. I could ask for your help. Uh... Dead eye. Okay, notice that's just a thing, and the second one is dead eye. They can have ten hunts at a time. Best of luck. Good luck finding the the one spot in the world with the hunt that you haven't done yet. Good luck. And there's like eighty of these of those suckers. So if you're trying to hundred percent this thing and platinum it, you're gonna be playing on high difficulties. You're gonna be playing like a bunch of shit okay can somebody with a better sense of direction tell me where to go because i think we got to be on the other side of the gate oh pronto hurry up pronto so yeah one of the more odd mechanics is if you want to use healing items in this game, you have to get, you have to get behind, wait, no, you, if you want to, rec you have to get into cover. It's like a cover shooter thing. If you want to do like auto healing, I think, I, I don't remember. There's some like weird thing with that. Come on. Fuck those trees in particular. Alrighty. Sorry, I was looking at the recording, making sure that I didn't, it didn't stall, pause, or if I didn't forget to... Be, I didn't save the game before I, I started this back up, so... Yeah. So I'm gonna... S oh, I can't. Is it because I'm... Oh, I'm technically in a dungeon area. Well, I hope nothing goes wrong, otherwise I'm redoing the past... You know hour and 12 minutes uh vor tooth no room for kick ass let's clean him up oh. quick prompto your puns make me shit your puns give me the shits Right. Got a high elixir because I ride a jixer. What the fuck is this shit? More bristles for my dick. I'm an echidna. <laughs> Actually, cats have barbed penises, apparently. Loosely talking of cats, where's my fat cat? Well, whatever. She's off doing something else. Probably being fat in the living room. Pick it up, you stupid idiot. It's just more bristles. I think it is shit. Fart on a leaf. Not. He's your literal bodyguard. Let him go first. And then let the other twats behind you take, take it in the ass while you're going forward. A sound of wet, flappy meat as he places his hand on the wall. Also, the turf effects have completely taken a vacation. Hold up. That's a big motherfucker. Hold up! So much for being quiet. But something got him. But when you have something that fucking big, 
how much bigger does something have to be to hurt it? It's not that I'm worried about, it's what hurt him. Also, my map marker's starting to annoy me. Get out of it. We're probably going to be fighting this thing in the dark. A big motherfucker. I know you're there! I could rip down this wall, but I'm not going to, because uh, I saw. That's a wicked sound. Hey, Gladio, don't lose your head. <laughs> This sequence fucking sucks, because I cannot move go. faster. I don't even think it's possible to stop moving. This is practically automated. It's cinematic, sure. Hmm. Katana of the Warrior. I'll maintain the engine blade. Although these are all good for different types of resistances and enemies. So Engine Blade might not even hurt him that much, but at this stage, I think pretty much everything is gonna hurt it's weak on pretty much everything. No eye, no horn. We'll stay in range until we can exploit its blind spot. Yeah, I mean, this is a big motherfucker. In fact, I... I remember using magic to defeat him last time. Like, I was using it to set not necessarily traps, but like, trying to, uh exploit some aspects of the environment in order to beat him and i did i know i said i played it on easy but i still had my ass handed to me because i'm just not good at this combat system and yet the more technically complicated combat system i.e near automata i did all right usually i mean i didn't die I'm not saying i'm good at it i'm just saying i no i can all right, so we're in. We've got the beast in our sight, uh, but no plan of attack. The behemoth should be headed back to its lair, where we can catch it fully off guard. Yeah, as long as we stay on guard ourselves. All right. Follow Dead Eye back to his lair. Do not let him see you. Let's hope I can just track him. Her ghost in the fog. Okay, what happens if he does see us? Is it an instant fail state, or can we just fight him here? Because I think we might miss out on some treasure, either that or just be something else. You're too far back. I mean, I... How do you know if I'm too far back? He's heading east. All I have to do is head east, and I'll see his... Oh, shut up. All I'd have to do is head east, and I'd just see his giant cactus ass. That's a like that's the problem when you ha when you're when you're that huge, you don't have to be subtle and you don't have to be smart because you just brute force your way. I'm basically a rock star. <laughs> that, didn't even, that wasn't funny. It didn't make sense. I was just a rock, and I made a joke. This motherfucker's got anxiety or something, because he'd be pacing. Like, I would never hunt something by following it this closely. No matter how stupid it is. Because if something hurt it, then it's got predators... It's got stuff bigger than it that wants to hurt it. Like my dick. So, it's got to have a survival instinct. If not to survive, then, like, well, to live that long, it has to have some degree of survival skill. And 
not being able to sense, you know, eight plotting feet in a massive open forest that's probably dead ass quiet except for his dead eye ass. Oh my gosh, just go back to your lair, you slow motherfucker. This isn't fun. <laughs> it's not challenging. It's not Metal Gear. And I'm literally alone because I guess they don't... The Square couldn't get the AI to stop triggering it. All right, there's its layer. We could have found it anyway. Sneak through the stones. Valhalla! Oh shit! God damn! It. Get in the motherfucking truck. I don't think this game is using that as a loading screen technique, although why else would they do that? I mean... Okay, first off, how the hell did y'all get ahead of me? Assholes. Why didn't I just follow your lead? Ooh, fire shit. Actually, to that end, how do I do this? Um... Elemency. Uh, sure. Fire. Fira! Uh, well, give this... What's the weakest one? Uh, Durandal. That's like the... That's like the big Final Fantasy motherfucker. So we'll give ourselves Fira... What if I, if, why don't I mix? How do I, what? Potency. Um, I, I forgot how to do that. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> now this operates like, these operate like grenades. So, you want to be careful about that. But there's also, if I remember correctly, there's explosive barrels around here. And you kind of want to use those. Yeah, look at that. You can use that to blow shit up. I just have no memory as to uh, what the delay is between throwing it. Actually, how do I throw it? Yeah. Detonate oil drums with fire. Okay, yes, I've got this figured out. The fog is cleared. Big enough for you. Whoa! Up, Get out of the way! I can't see! Oh shit the bed! Come here, you big dumb motherfucker! Oh, I have to wait for it to charge. How unfortunate. Ah! That was unfortunate, too. That was not a lot of damage I lost. Kick him in the ass! One last push. Suffice to finish the whole time to say goodnight. Blew up, Prompto. Ha! Ah, you look singed. The hell's that? Peterbilt? Ba danger. Is that a big explosive? Freaking cool. Sounds like someone's in a good mood. Basking in our hard fought victory, I presume. <laughs> you presume correctly, you dapper fool. Talking of whom? Here he comes. Ah! I finna sneeze. Huh? <laughs> Pardon. Now that joke caused me to sneeze all over my pop shield. 
the hell? Well, not 100% certain what happened there. Uh, report back to Wiz. Oh shit, we're playing Konosuba? Oh shit, we're gonna be out in the shit at this time of day. Um, is there a campsite or something? No. Oh my lord, he is like... That motherfucker miles away. And that's something to do with fish. Yeah, we're gonna have to camp. We are gonna have to fucking camp. I'm, I'm not. I'm not staying out here in this fucking wilderness at night on normal difficulty with the demons. Because those. We should make haste for the stall. Yeah. Don't keep my sister waiting. Hang on. We gotta turn in a quest and we gotta rest. Purchase from shops for use in cooking. Good to know. Or we could just find them out in the field, use them fresh. If this game turns out to be like an absolute pain in the ass, then uh, I'm turning it down to easy because I'm here to enjoy the story, not have a bad day. There's a glowing stone. Now, there's a volcano. You can go there. It's huge up close. <laughs> So, that's a long distance away. Like, the game world here is actually, like, fucking huge. But, it's also, uh, not got a lot of substance in it. As I said before, it's fun to explore, but you're not gonna find anything. It's just one of those, it's a comfy game for comfy motherfuckers who just like hot dudes, pretty worlds... And an emotional story that, Doesn't the power well, of kings wear you out? Kinda, sort of does its job. Getting better at the warp strike. Come on, what is finesse if not the method by which you move about a battle? One magical motherfucking campsite. Good lord. Is that there so we know where we're going? How do I turn the damn flashlight off? Can you? Huh. Hey, Ignis. Make it a barbecue tonight. Might be a little late for one. Yeah. Late night meals make you fat. I was more concerned about the mess. Utensils that will need scrubbing. Any other excuses? Yes. I just don't feel like making one. Shall we camp here? Camp at Havens to blah blah blah. Okay, we're going to camp train. Or wait. Okay, so you don't have to like stop and go. Whatever. Let's call it a day. I'll see what I can whip up. In case you don't want to uh <laughs> use all your experience. I hope you're ready for more product placement. Somewhere. Where it at? Where it at? See, their footsteps are audible, meaning that whenever they're talking to each other, they're actually just not saying anything. Coleman! You can kind of see it. Anyway... Uh, rice balls. Now, I'm not... Uh, oh, burly bean bowl. What am I missing? Lucian tomato. Bastard. Multi-meat sandwich. Uh, grease monkey schnitzel sandwich. Nothing too crazy. Uh, critical hit chance by 30. Maximum H... That's... Quite crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a meal. That'll keep you full as a grown man. Uh, veggie medley stew. Nobody particularly likes it. Fuck it. Skewers. We got the stuff. Fuck it. 
3D model. Delicious looking. Now I'm hungry because I've not eaten breakfast. Wah, 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 wah. Ah, 2020. But it went shit for Deadeye. But not for us. Oh, shit. Creamy fowl saute. Nice. Uh, a lady bathed in white. Noctis driving like a badass. Ignis looking depressed because he's not driving. Selfie. Why not? Cute drawing. Two bros. Where were you in that scenario? You were nowhere near us. Look at you. What the fuck is that? Oh. That's him shooting Deadeye in the ass. Now that's what I call yeah. dead ass. Actually, that's kind of cool. Look at that detail. Anyway, <laughs> running around at the speed of dark. Cool. And now we're going to turn this bitch in. When Noctis eats her favorite food at camp, the techniques may develop faster or deliver critical hits more often. Nice! So that's one way to Jeez, level them up. I I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dana. Couldn't forget it. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Golden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. Um... Or you could go fuck yourself. I'm good to go. Just about awake. Coleman. Sometimes you'll camp out and you'll get these little character moments. And you can talk to the individual dudes and have these little things. There's one at Galden. There's one at that place where you first meet Dave. Um, it didn't trigger, though. See, this is, this is what I mean. Like, this game is so pretty. Like, you could go over to that tower over there. You could go and see the arches. You could go fuck with that car way in the distance. There's not really a point to it, but you can. Like, whatever you want to go and smell, you can go and smell it. So, yeah. I like it. I like it, like it. Yeah, let's go. Let's go raid some treasure. It's on the way. We're not increasing the distance, are we? Nope. 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 Ah, shit. I thought that was a treasure box. No marine for us. Yesterday's skewers were grilled to perfection. All credit to Gladio for his meticulous tending of the fire. No sweat. That sort of thing's right up my alley. Oh, Gladio knows how to stoke the fire. In my pants! Oh. I might have gonorrhea. <laughs> Not really. Oh, here's that wonderful song again. It's gonna get interrupted by literally everything. I want to ride my chocobo all day. Oh. Can't get it out of my head. So I heard. I think after this point you could just rent chocobos. And there's a lot of benefits to renting them because they... You can ride them anywhere, unlike the car. And the more you ride them, the more stamina they get, the better they get, and I believe the faster they get. So there's a lot of benefits to renting them as often as possible, especially when you're doing exploration. I mean, still not going to really do that. Wuss. <laughs> Probably not going to really do that because I never did in my first playthrough, and I didn't, I didn't really struggle. Pet the chicken. You took down Deadeye. The area's safe again, and we owe it all to you. On behalf of the locals, I give you my heartfelt thanks. So about the chocobos. Our birds are at your disposal. You can rent them anytime you like. Nice. Glad to see y'all made it back in one piece. Uh, three thousand twenty gill. We're pretty well back up to where we. <laughs> Come on, Noct. Let's go for a ride. Um, now nah, I'm good. We're not going to Lestalem on a chocobo. Chocobo races and a beast thing. Oh, that truck is booking it. All right. 
We're going to Lestalum. Hooray. Ready for more? Mm -hmm. You bet. Let's hit it. All right, let's see if I remember how to get there. But with my sense of direction, we're probably going to go to the volcano instead. So prepare for trouble, make it double. Except I'm more like team cock it, as in cock it up. How's it going, Noctis? Keep your eye on the road, dickhead! Oh, yeah. You don't necessarily get more XP for driving yourself, but, you know, I think it's rather pleasant. And, yeah. So this is where that whole road trip thing comes in. I mentioned it before, but, you know, if I make a wrong turn, then we'll make some discoveries. But I kind of don't want to use the map for this. Like, I mean, I could set the journey. I mean, two miles. Two miles, like, that seems a lot farther away. Although there's a bunch of winding roads. That's just as the crow flies. There's a lot more road than that. Uh, nobody coming that way. So, Nox, haven't taken pics of whatever catches my eye, but what do you want to see? Uh, I want to see more Gladio. Gladi Daddy. More shots of Gladio. <sighs> gotcha. I'll see what I can do. Opto will take more pictures of Gladio till resting again. All right. Uh, can we pass this turd? I know it's a no passing lane, but I'm the prince. So this Technically is the, the king. infamous disc. Hey, Noct, don't you want to get a shot of you in the meteor? Sure. Why not? Well, it's starting Daddy, to rain. Let's go. Well, I got quiet all of a sudden. It is quiet as shit. This really is kind of a Rolls Royce. It'll auto park. Thank goodness, because it'll probably crash into every fence from here to Altitia. Huh? Don't you want to get a shot of you in the disc? Yeah! It's rainy as Christmas, and we're going to fuck up the leather. But hey, it happens. That map marker is still there. Why doesn't it just go away? Take a shot from here. Good call. Now it's picture time. Click, click. Take a pick. Uh, let me get this shot. I'm surprised that the of all the branding they have in this game, they didn't have one from like Nikon or something. The gang's all here. See, us. Alrighty. Forward unto Lestalem again. How do y'all motherfuckers manage to get ahead of me at every turn? Ah! You know what's worse than having to climb stairs? Having to walk over to the fucking stairs and then climb some stairs. You know what I'm saying? I mean, why didn't we park by the stairs? So we don't have to go back and forth 50 times. Beautiful bottle. It's like fucking... I never, you never notice how stuff like whiskey has like the most beautiful artisan bottles. It's like, well, our whiskey may not be as popular as Jack Daniels, but at least our bottles look amazing. Less iconic, but you can put that shit on a shelf and people will go, oh, damn, that's a nice bottle. All right. Manuel. Time to go. All right. Here we go. Full speed ahead. You can drive this bitch as fast as you want. You're not going to hydroplane into the fucking trees. I'm 90% sure we got plenty of gas to get to La Stalem, although refueling would be a good idea when we get there, probably. Kind of a shame that it's raining today. 
because Lestalem, Lestalem was kind of the point in the game where I really did kind of start to like it because you know that feeling when you go to just especially foreign countries. I've been out of the country a couple times. But when you go to a place that has a totally different feel and a totally different culture to the one you're familiar with, this game does that abnormally well. But it also only has like two places in the game that do that, that actually go that far. And it really sucks because it does that so well. Like I went to Mexico and where we're about to go reminded me of going to an uh, an island in Mexico. Isla Mujeres specifically. Which roughly translated means island of women. Oh, I think it's clearing up. Gonna have a slightly dirty car, but you know, whatever. It happens. You're gonna get that on these big jobs. Oh, the clouds actually clear up. Look at that. That's freaking sweet. We're gonna have some water getting flicked in here. Whew. That's a tower. That's the biggest tower I've seen all day, except for that big rock motherfucker. Alright. Well, you only wear one driving glove, you weirdo. It's like we're warping to another dimension. Wonder where we'll end up. Hell! <laughs> Alright. I should have turned on the radio. I completely forgot about that. Hell wow. yeah. Nice. This place is pretty big. Haven't enjoyed the city life in a while. They've even got a cable car! I'd like to see where it leads. Well, tough shit. If you want to see the sights, we're going to have to ride passenger because I drive in first person. <sighs> it's getting hot out here. Just need to pull in somewhere cool. <laughs> yeah. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Yes, I'm certain we can secure suitable accommodations nearby. Oh, yeah. Now, this place is cool. Little bit confusing, but freaking cool. Those pipes are not efficient. Now, I, I know that it's pipes, specifically heating pipes, but that's got to reduce some of its efficiency, especially that. What are you doing there? Uh, this, this city is not up to code. But you got plenty of places to eat, see, you know, laid, lead, lead and slaflilich. And you can get yourself some munchies. Crisp baked bread fresh out of the oven. Unfortunately, this is, this is basically a, uh, a city. So... Shit gets expensive. Have a gander. Well, I say that, but it effectively has no Thank cost you. to it. Well, then again, he's small business. He doesn't he he doesn't have to charge much because we get tourists. What the hell are those? Oh, little stoppers. Oh shit! See, there's places like this that I do actually quite like having the option for first person, even if the field of view is so low it makes me fucking shit. Because you, you have these little things like this. I hey, seriously. Like, great sense of detail in this game. Like, maybe not to that psychotic degree of something like Cyberpunk. Because my good fucking grief, that game. You just walk into a random spot and it's just detailed to the butt. But this game's not too far back. Uh, Oryx Culinary Chronicle Entry 2. Don't know where entry one was because I wasn't paying attention. Made it back to HQ, hat in hand. Got a pat on the back. And boss brought, bought me dinner to celebrate my success. Said the fried egg re represented me, a hatchling hunter, he said. Here I was, feeling down and out, thinking I didn't bag my bounty when it turns out I ate the critter. Maybe I'm out. Maybe I'm cut out for this hunting gig after all. 
Hell, I could be the next big thing to come out of uh, Key Catrich, what, since the Wise King, or at least his tomb, that is. Nice. Uh, Master Simmons, what, preserved herbs. Ooh, herbs. I smoke the herb. Do you smoke the herb? One hell of a crowd. Well, this must be the main thoroughfare. That's not much She's of a crowd. Let's go. Well, have plenty of time to explore, and there's gonna be some stupid fucking missions we gotta do here later. Let's have ourselves a walk see. Like, seriously, this reminds me so much of, of Isla Mujare in Mexico. Like, kind of janky, but, like, it's got this really cool feeling to it. Albeit with fewer pipes. Mexico doesn't have that many pipes. Well, not, you know, external pipes. It's more like plumbing. Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? Oh, shit. <sighs> What's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It ended as quickly as it started. Okay, fuck Luna Freya. We got ourselves a fit as a fiddle. Like, leather pants wearing lady waving at us. So when the ground shakes, your brain aches? Yeah. A sort of seismic shock to the system. Curious. Very. Cosmogony. That's pretty much exactly what the word is. I thought I was just talking shit. The earliest accounts of... What is with that fucking texture? Oh my lord, I think something took a dump. Uh, the earliest accounts of covenants are found in ancient times dating back to the time of cosmogony some two millennia ago. According to such tomes, the rites are a means by which the oracle summoned forth the gods that she might make the will of mortals known unto the divine. I'm surprised I didn't fuck any of that up because I was not paying attention. Whoa, hooray, he's happy about it. And now for an exa another example of shame she's not wearing sleeves because she's cute as a button. You look good. All things considered. You guys are Looks a bit like Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Quinn's not this. Iris is safe with me. Good to know. Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. Call me Noctis. No one else fucking does. Again, she's cute as a button, but I fucking hate her outfit. Or I hate her top. So, Iris, what was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, uh thanks. Good to know. <clears throat> uh, what? So... About Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. Here? Apparently she left right away. Damn. But at least it means she's okay. Good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Show thing! Isn't it weird how, at least in my case, as I get older, like, I said, yeah, she's cute, but ah, it's like, oh, shit, I just punched the microphone and my phone went off. Look at that shit. She's cute, but it's like, to say 
outwardly attractive would be like, no, my brain doesn't really work that way anymore. Whereas what's her face? Uh, the, the lady from before and all that, like this white haired lady from the hunter's outpost. You, you know who I'm talking about. Like, I actually think she's really attractive, but it's just like, I'm getting close to 30. So like these, these younger girls are just, it, it just don't, they don't, it don't do it for me anymore. I like women. All right. That was a weird tangent. Wait, who is this? Oh, prompto Bing fucking... Oops! I was gonna save that. Oh, well. <laughs> the next morning. Morning, sleepyhead. Oh. Morning. What is it with Japanese motion capture uh, that's always just a little bit wackadoo? We should, too. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. It oh, seems Patrick. Your must reward you. Enjoy your walk and please take care. Patrick's te uh, messaging me on Steam. For our first stop, we'll check out the marketplace. Follow me right this way. I'm not. I'm not agreeing to this being a date. I'm just saying, uh, if you want to call it that. Then I'm not gonna complain too much. It's even more beautiful out here at night. <sighs> I love the nighttime in this game. Like, like places like this and uh, Altitia, which Altitia, like that's where half the budget went. I swear, this place gets cool at night. At a market, this is where they this render the all the motherfuckers. Market. You can get almost anything here. Isn't it great? I'd buy out the whole place if I could. See, it's that, it's like the, uh. Like the, the, the jumping, the, 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 the oh, leaning the forward and, right up your alley. and the, the, so well. the, the, do the gesture, do those gestures like, like that slight fist pump, you, you know, like you've seen it in every motion capture ever. It's, it's. Idol culture acting. I'll just call it that. I'm gonna take a look. Give me just a sec. It's not, it doesn't really bother me. It's just I see it everywhere. I'm sure, you know, I'm sure there's things that happen in like every Western game that someone who, who doesn't live here would, in America, would eventually just be like, man, I see that everywhere, man. What's this shit? Whoa! Wade with... <laughs> no first person model. That's kind of funny. So. Come on. Come on, little lady. I'm a fast walker. I am in real life, too. I've, I've had my... Anytime my sister comes by and visits and I'm walking along, she's like, dude, slow down. I don't walk that fast. I'm just like, I got places to be, bitch. I dig the rustic charm. Huh. You must be in the big cities, because where I live, this is about as city as it gets. Like, if you don't have... If you, if you can't drive a truck between buildings, then it's a city. I mean, you could drive a truck between buildings here, but if you can't drive one between buildings, then it's a city. <laughs> Which is like Midland Odessa fucking sucks. Because it's like where I live, except the buildings are 50 miles apart. That's the power plant. The driving force behind Lestalem's prosperity. Well, hell yeah. But get this. Only women work there. As a matter of fact, women are the ones who do all the work in this town. I like it. Uh, liberal view or conservative view? La 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 la. Oh, I can't just rapidly. Uh, three, two, one. Uh, this one. Sounds like a hard life. Uh, I think it's kind of cool, actually. Depends on how you look at it, I guess. All right. Next, we're going to the. Oh, you can get XP or AP. 
I need to try to target the AP. The ass penis. <laughs> no wonder I don't get put on the fucking algorithm. <laughs> Whoa. Women do all the work in this town. Well, what the fuck is he doing? He's the work inspector. <laughs> I think there's a document. I, I think there's document. All the work, my ass. Oh, those are the valves. There's a side mission in which you have to turn all of them. Guess what? I don't know where all of them are. Oh, shit. I thought there was a shiny. Or a check. Get that map marker out of my face. Fucking hell. Keep forgetting about that. But, uh, yeah. Oh, that looked like a ladder. It's gonna get all excited. Actually, are there ladders in this game? So Holy not. shit. What are you gonna do when we get to Kayam? Me, um, get ready to go to Altisha, I guess. Right. Can't keep Lady Luna waiting. Subtext. Wait, uh, I hate sleeveless shirts. And I hate sleeveless hoodies probably the most. Why? Why keep your head warm and your shoulders are exposed? What I... Now, I actually kind of like shoulderless shirts. Like the ones that expose shoulders. Be just shoulders. Because... I'll be damned if I don't like women's shoulders. <laughs> Imagine taking one for a spin. Oh, yeah. Taking what for a spin? I'll take you for a fucking spin. <laughs> All right. Uh, la 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 la. Cotton candy. I hit my dick on a pole because I was looking at something else. So you want to? Outlook. Amazing view, right? Look. Well, it ain't uncharted quality, but it's close. You know, not. This almost feels like a date. Stop touching me. If it were, your brother would kick my ass. <laughs> we better keep it quiet. Then. Ooh. And besides, you already have Lady Luna Freya. As we've established. AP! AP! Yeah! By now. I guess it's the Let's low option that gives you AP. What a weird thing. Return to the level. Corella level. Now that chasm there has some pretty cool like crystalline architecture and weird shit in there. But you have to play episode Gladio in order to actually see it. But that's cool. I'm doing like Ruby roleplay or something? <laughs> I want to be a huntress. Why? <laughs> Why not just be normal? Uh, made with import. Oh. <laughs> so I found where to buy those olives. And that's all we've discovered. That and cup fucking noodle. Yeah, buddy. I shop here all the time. Mm. You are definitely Gladio's sister. I mean, the joke hasn't really set in yet, but that motherfucker loves cup noodle. I forget where we find out. I mean, at the risk of, uh, at the risk of giving this away before somebody actually explains it, this town draws all of its power and the and it uh, from that disc. Like where the, uh, where the heat was coming from that we were just talking about, and they process it after at the power plant. And that's been Dave's tour guide of Listalum, a a uh, medium sized beautiful bastard. Great architecture, not a shit ton to do, but you can go stroll around, get a good Let's feel for the place. The and I really want to see it at night <laughs> before we go. Like we Ooh, lag. Thanks, Noct. It was fun. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> Diplomatic. You did? I'm so happy to hear that. 500 XP, which is fucking nothing. It's for you. But 
It's a surprise, so you're gonna have to wait. Well, ain't that peachy. Hey, look who's back. Talka, go on and tell him what you told me. You got it. Oh, come now, show some respect. Whoa, no need to respect me. I'm not royalty. <laughs> so, ain't nobody respect you. about a sword, and the sword's supposed to be behind a waterfall nearby. It may well be one of the lost tombs. Check it out. Sure. Thanks for the tip, Talkit. You're welcome. Now, it's outside the city. We got a little bit of time to kill. And I don't want to do two dungeons in one day. Been recording for two hours across two videos. That is... Oh, that is good enough for Dave. Oh, yeah. The Leville is not a... Isn't the Leville also in Altitia? I guess we'll fucking find out. What do you have to say? This sounds dangerous. Will the four of you be all right? Prompto, are you making out with the door? Be on the lookout for demons. They like dark places after all. After all, the sign of bad writing. Anyway. Hell yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, chapter 3, chapter 3. Ch Wait, that's an autosave. That's what that means. So, we do chapter 3 now. Hell yeah. So, that'll be it for today. I have to wee wee. And, uh, yeah, I will see you, well, tomorrow for me, tomorrow for you as well, because of the way that I post these things. Thank you very much for watching. I am the Dave, signing off. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. You can at least have motion in the background. Put some motion in that ocean! Whale penis. Yeah, you figure out why I said that.